Despite the fact that the world appears to be moving at a rapid pace, Ghana remains unaffected. Our home nation, once renowned for its prospects as an economic powerhouse in Africa, has been losing ground. But what if we could start from scratch and rethink our development? How can Ghana reconnect its past status as a symbol of excellence and prosperity? I remember we were colonized by the British and um, a lot of the labor force was being trained to work in the civil service. So these were white collar jobs. We really didn't have, you know, many industries. And really, uh, when Ghana gained independence and Kwame Nkrumah started this whole industrialization agenda, that really kickstarted the industrialization agenda that Ghana had embarked on. You know, we're very respected on the African continent um, as a country that was really thinking about its future and where it was going. And then when he was overthrown, that also then led to the halting of industries. And a lot of factories were shut. And so when you look at the curriculum itself, when we look at the root cause, you know, let's go back to how young people now currently are being trained to enter the job market. We still have followed, you know, this um, route of so training with the workforce to enter white collar job sector. But really we are at this space and time um, as, a, as a country where, you know, we're kickstarting our industrialization agenda because I would say that almost 90% of everything is imported into the country. You know, and so if you look at a lot of our economic woes, there's an imbalance of trade. You know, we don't process any raw materials, hardly any raw materials that are going out. And yet we have a huge bulging workforce or young people that are looking for jobs. And the jobs that are out there are in factories. According to the recent Population and Housing Census, which is a 2021 Population and Housing Census, we know that unemployment is rising and for that matter, something needs to be done. Currently, we are looking at an unemployment rate of 13.4% for the total population. And what is particularly worrying is the unemployment rate among young people, which is people that are between 15 and 24. The unemployment rate is 32.8%, effectively 33%. Meaning that when you take three young people within this age category, 15 and 24, um, one is unemployed. And this statistic is quite staggering because we know that there are implications that high unemployment has on economies. We can cite examples like in the Arab Spring, we've had uprising because of unsustainable levels of unemployment that countries have gone through. And how have we got here? We've got here as a country because we see that the industrialization drive, which is supposed to create jobs for many people that are seeking jobs, is not actually working. So the industrial band in our economy is not expanding. And for that matter, um, we find that our economy over the years has struggled to create jobs. Also for the average young person right now is the poor perception around um, the need to get your hands dirty, if I may say, to pick up competencies. So you're studying engineering and you expect me, you know, to wear work boots and to put on um, an overcoat because I actually have to get onto the, you know, the site and really bring my engineering background to bear because I'm working on a project. You know, and you're working with artisans who seemingly, you know, this perception that, oh, they don't have the same intellect that I do. So that perception, again, of the average young person that, you know, picking up competencies, which means that wearing overalls and working on a factory floor on a site is not for me. This goes back again to how parents and society look down upon technical and vocational education as the preserve for you know a young person who is unable to go to university so now you begin to look at where the gaps then ends to where young people begin to transition into the world of work 
training with a white collar mindset, but where rather your training should be blue collar. Again, now you also look at um, industries and employers that are complaining about the quality of um, graduates that are coming out and complaining that they cannot be hired, they cannot be employed. And most importantly, complain about the critical um, soft skills, apart from the hard skills that is missing right now, you also then have soft skills that is also missing. So if we also then sit back and complain that we can't find high quality or high caliber ta uh, talent, then who are we to blame? And again, I'd like to hammer on the agency because you have a bulging um, youth bracket sitting down. We don't, you know, complaining that there are no jobs. Then you also have employers that are also complaining that I can't find, you know, competent talent to work with. But yet there's a huge opportunity to unlock the potential for jobs. I know for a fact that Africa is only just about to kickstart its industrialization agenda with all the initiatives you know um, coming out of the African Union with the Africa continental free trade area and all these initiatives if we're going to be looking at manufacturing companies that would look at the opportunities that Africa really really has to offer then we are at a stage where we really really don't have a choice but begin to have those hard conversations of what it would take to really unlock the potential for job creation on the continent. Over the past three years, DTI has been working diligently to nurture Ghana's next generation of innovators and leaders for the jobs of the future. Through partnerships with universities, training master craftsmen, and SMEs from both formal and informal sectors, DTI is championing Ghana's new age of industrial transformation. One where Ghanaians have access to not just job opportunities, but also training that will help them excel in their careers. Ni GPG training, the Bafe Mia Kanakan training, a chossy war, but no Bafe, no Bachaki or mindset. I can never know of your tutor, Nini here or Bako, Nina here or Bashi, Connie Water, but no Bafe, no Yawa here. A war was Cassini, why a jammy? I've been on a chow, but no Bafe, no Bafe or bookkeeping. But now, fee, care customers bar, or I'm a good facial expression. Wo a good customer care. Agbena ni wo chuo ni e yehu. Da ne wo saje ken 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 ken. Bona fe ke mo kumbi ba he ni e e na ke wo heche. Ni e ni wo hong. Ni ni e ni e le e ke heche mo ni e. No pe 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 a chuo wo eje me. Wo ba fe mi a ke eje me ni kase mo. Wo a kase ni wa eje me. The GSA, working through the Ministry of Trade and Industry, has worked with DTI, the National Development Planning Commission, Commission for TVET, CTVET, as well as other stakeholders to develop a session within Ghana's first ever national quality policy, dealing with precision quality. In my experience as Director General of the Ghana Standards Authority, Ghanaians do love to patronize made in Ghana products on condition that these products meet required standards. So if you look at the bottled water space, if you look at the alcoholic beverages space, few Ghanaians are interested in imported stuff. So where does policy come in? Now Ghana has a national quality policy. This national quality policy makes it a national requirement because policy making is the highest form of law making. The policy gives a spirit within which we want to operate. And we are saying that just like Germany did at the, end of, at the end of the 19th century, just like China is beginning to do, India has done, quality should drive what we do. Because we believe that when people can buy with confidence, knowing that the products are precise, they are precision products, the quality is reliable and consistent, and is world class, they will buy. 
within the policies established by His Excellency, the President and his cabinet, we now have what we call the legal framework, the infrastructure for businesses to do interesting things. Indeed, the potential is enormous. Very soon, you will now get a bricklayer who is PQ certified. Already, if you look in the, in the space of electricians, the Energy Commission has, for the past few years, been certifying electricians. So if you go for a certified electrical wiring professional for your house, whatever service you get is world class, and your house is not going to bend down because somebody puts the negative in the positive and the positive in the neutral. If the students in our technical universities and traditional universities reading electrical engineering should become certified by second or third year, they already have a job. They don't need government, they are making money. Because all of us need plumbers, we all need electricians, but the reliability is what worries us. Can the Ghanaian youth do it? The answer is absolutely yes. And it's up to us to give them the fertile grounds where their innovations will grow. But if out of 10 ideas, one leads to a blockbuster, you have transformed an entire country. Think of what Tesla has done for vehicles. Think of what Facebook has done for social media. Think of what Google has done for the internet. And it only needs one Ghanaian to give us Let's call it any name we like, and we'll be on the course to greatness. So our national economy is going to be heavily dependent on precision quality, the policies and the laws. State actors, including all the regulatory authorities, need to buy into it. But the private sector must shadow that space and work with state actors and universities to scale our youth and give them jobs when they are in school. Help them to be creators, innovators and entrepreneurs before they complete school. So that by the time they come out of school, they're already making money. So that we do not have unemployed graduate association or having young people come into the workforce with so much potential. But which potential has not been realized? Because the system did not invest in skilling the youth and equipping them for the fourth and fifth industrial revolution.